to check with the section leader at that time. Hmm? I was the section leader at the time. Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> these, uh, these stamps here, do you think they will interest him? Huh? Interest him? They would make a collector's model. Uh, look at these Dutch colonials. A complete set. And these rotation jubilees. As many in purpurates. Very rare. Good, I take the impetus, sir. <laughs> yes, such a man was my Uncle Louis. <laughs> Careful, calculating, and collecting. Always collecting. And what? Stand. Stand. <laughs> <laughs> Your uncle was wise. He collected only colonials. This is a rare collection, Mr. Fogel. It's very expensive. But for me, it's rather sad. You want them? Take them. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, why not? Take them, sure. But I've done nothing to deserve this. Never mind, Mr. Burke. Perhaps someday you could do something to deserve uh, something. No, no, Please, no, no. please. My friend is a party member. And to help me here, an excellent valet. And available. Gentlemen, I did not come here for a job. Could I see your party card, Mr. Fogel? Absolutely, Mr. Burke. <laughs> and here are some of his uniforms. Yeah. Chancellors, stormtrooper, and this one he wears at the front. Wonderful. You brush them three times a day. I brush them. That's my dream. <laughs> now I'll show you the proper hats and shirts. Yes, my fair one. Who's this one? This is the one I told you about, my Führer, the new assistant. Yes, you were saying? It's about General Loeffa. He claims that his troops are not getting position because of the spring rains. It isn't important what Ritter says. I've replaced him. Twenty-four hours before his troops start into action, that my Führer... Yes! His troops will move into Holland without him and exactly according to plan. Well, that's him, himself. Now you've seen him. What is it, Carl? What's the matter? Oh, I see. Yes, of course. It's the honor. The honor. The great. And that's why, Mr. Berg. So if I could leave in the morning, please. Belgium is full. Holland has surrendered. And now, of all times, you want to go and see your mother. But m my mother is dying, Mr. Berg. And you said yourself you are pleased with Fogel. I've taught him everything. But I can't let people leave Berlin for every little thing. Stuart, Savius Berg speaking. Send food and wine. Yes, my Führer. Six people. Instantly, my Führer. I will attend to it personally. All right, you can go. Thank you. What? What is it? The food. What? I give it my personal attention, my Führer. Oh, food. Are you crazy? Get this stuff out of it. Why do you stand there like an idiot? Throw him out. Yes, sir. Yes, my God. Oh, no, no. On the 25th day of 
June, Hitler returned to Berlin. France had been crushed, and England was awaiting the final assault. The triumphant German army, the greatest military machine in the history of mankind, was already wheeling into position on the shores of the English Channel. It seemed as though nothing could stop Hitler, least of all a valet, a shiner of his master's boots. to equip divisions in England. And as far as the British fleet is concerned, my Luftwaffe will take care of the British fleet. And since the important factor is time, the time is now. week of July, rumors were heard that an invasion fleet was being assembled on the French coast. Bets were made that England would fall by the middle of August, and then the grapevine settled on an exact day for the invasion, July 15th. Once again, the lights burned late in the Reich's Chancellery, and the fate of England, and perhaps the civilized world, lay in the hands of a valet. <laughs> 